There are a lot of contributing factors to pH rising in the pool. One contributing factor with modern pools is water features. If this raises pH to the process of aeration, if this is more of a modern pool design problem that causes rising pH, the emergence of saltwater generators also contributes to the rising pH. The way the salt water generator functions, and specifically how the salt cell produces chlorine, causes the pH to rise rapidly in pools with salt water systems. In newly built plaster pools, the pH will also rise rapidly for the first 6 to 8 months due to the high acid demand of the plaster as it's curing. So in plaster and pebble tech pools, the pH tends to rise. And in vinyl and fiberglass pool, the pH tends to be more stable and low pH is more of a problem with that surface type. And some ways to control the speed of how fast the pH rises in a pool is with pH buffers. And alkalinity is the main buffer. Keeping your alkalinity between 70 and 80 parts per million is a great way to keep pH lower in the pool. Cyanuric acid is also a secondary buffer. And keeping a stable cyanuric acid level of 50 to 80 parts per million will also help the pH from rising rapidly. And last, adding borates to 50 parts per million as a third buffer will really help keep the pH from rising rapidly in the pool. And you can look at these buffers as in nature. If you have vegetation on the coastline, it prevents the coastline from eroding. Or in football, the newer helmets will buffer the shock a player takes when he gets hit by another player, thus reducing concussions. In the same way, you can use these buffers in the pool water to keep pH from rising rapidly. If your pool has water features, simply turning them off for a longer duration or not having them on at all will help keep the pH from rising rapidly in the pool, as well as reducing the salt water generator output to 50% or lower. Another way to keep pH in check is to use 3-inch trichlor tablets. Since they have cyanuric acid in them, they're releasing acid into the pool and they have a pH of under 3, and this helps keep pH in pools lower. However, you would want to limit your 3-inch trichlor usage in a fiberglass or vinyl pool, since this will lower the pH in those pool surface types, and if the pH gets below 7.2, it can damage equipment, corrode liners, and it can also cause stinging of the eyes in bathers. A good target pH is 7.5. However, you also want to refer to the LSI, and a great app for this is the Arenda app. And the LSI will really show you if your pH is too high based on all the other factors, calcium hardness, alkalinity, water temperature, and others. And this will let you know if the water is corrosive or scale forming. And using the LSI index is a great way to stop chasing pH because your high pH may be perfectly fine based on the level of the other elements that make up the LSI. There are a number of ways to test the pH in a pool. You can test the pH with a reagent test kit using phenol red. You can also use phenol red in a photometer. You can also use a digital meter with a pH probe to get the pH level. You can also use test strips, but this will only give you a ballpark reading of the pH. To lower pH in the pool, you would use muriatic acid. And the industry standard is 31.45%. You can also use a CO2 tank connected to the equipment, but this is more for commercial pool use. And acid magic is also an effective way to reduce the pH in your pool. You can also lower the pH in the pool with what's referred to as dry acid or sodium bisulfate. This is a little bit longer process as you have to dilute it in a bucket of water. And once the dry acid is diluted, you can pour it around the perimeter of the pool. And to know how much acid to add to the pool to lower the pH, there are many online apps that you can use that will calculate dosage for you. And my favorite is the poolcalculator.com. If the pH gets too low in the pool, you can of course use aeration to raise the pH. Simply turn on your water features or put a submersible pump on the first step of your pool. You can also use 20 mule team borax to raise the pH in the pool. 20 mule team borax has a very high pH and it'll raise the pH without raising the alkalinity significantly. You can also add soda ash to raise the pH, but this will also raise the alkalinity. And one misnomer in the industry is that baking soda will raise the pH. Baking soda is used to raise alkalinity in the pool, and it has very little effect on the pH. In the end, chasing pH is not really necessary, and sometimes a high pH is perfectly fine based on the LSI index. 